Hi, this is Kevin from the Mathsaurus, and in this video I'm going to show you a really easy method using the calculator to solve quadratics by factorizing. So the sort of question we're looking at here is solve, it, solve by factorizing either maybe 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 is 0, or it could be something as complicated as 12x squared plus 14x minus 10 equals 0. Um, and at the end of this video, this these two questions are going to seem just as complicated as each, as each other and both are going to seem very easy. And it's based on this idea that I've put in the previous video, which I'll, I'll link below as well. Um, and if you understand that idea, this becomes super easy. And the idea is that if you've got a quadratic in factorized form already, then uh, you think of it as two factors multiplied together. So 3x plus 2 is one factor, 2x minus 1 is the other factor here. And if two numbers multiply together to give 0, then that means that either the first number here is 0 or the second number is 0. Okay, so in this example, the a is 3x plus 2 and the b is 2x plus 2x minus 1. If they multiply together to give 0, it must be that either 3x plus 2 is 0 uh, or 2x minus 1 is 0. And 3x plus 2 equals 0 is easy to solve. I just get 3x equals minus 2 or x equals minus 2 thirds. 2x minus 1 is also equal to, uh, equals 0 is equal, also easy to solve. I just get 2x equals 1 or x, so x equals a half, right? And what we want to do is kind of unpick this process because I'm going to show you how on the calculator you can just get the solutions to the equation really easily and then use those to find out the working for the factorized form. Now you might think that's a bit of a cheat, but it's a very good mathematical method in my opinion. If you've got a calculator in the exam, why not do it? Of course, you can do the same, uh, get the same answer by by these trial and error methods that you might have learned. But there is no, you know, perfect method for factorizing beyond trial and error. So if you've got the calculator, this is uh, great, and you can fill in all the working you need for any exam this way as well. Right. So what I do is I just imagine, right, for a second, that I had the solutions, but I didn't know what the factorized form was. Right. Perhaps I've just got this in the multiplied out in a multiplied out version or something, right? And so if I uh, say, okay, what quadratic equation has these solutions? I could go back and say, oh, well, I just need a linear factor that has x equals minus 2 thirds as the solution, right? So I times by 3, and I get 3x equals minus 2, and then I add 2 to give 3x plus 2 equals 0, right? Same with the other one, x equals a half. I get 2x equals 1, or 2x minus 1 equals 0. And I can say, oh, well, look, there's an equation then that has these two roots, if I just multiply these two factors together, 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 1, put that equal to 0, I've got an equation that has that root. Now there are other equations that have the same uh, same solutions here, um, but the only ones there are are ones where I take this equation and I multiply it by a, another constant in front. Right? If I times it by 5, uh, it's still the case that when I plug these numbers in I get 0. Um, so you might just want to check if there's another factor in front uh, as well. But at GCSE, mostly, it's just going to be these, right? So next step, then, how would I, uh, how would I get these uh, roots from the calculator, right? Well, let's see what the question might have been in this case, right? If I had, uh, you know, if, if it had been 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 1, if I, if I multiply that out uh, quickly, I just get 6x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 2. So the question might have been, you know, solved by factorizing uh, 6x squared plus 4x minus 3x, so that's just plus x minus 2 equals 0. So on the uh, calculator here, as long as, as long as you've got the fx991ex uh, here, I'll put a link to buy that from the Amazon store below. If you don't have this calculator, really recommend it for GCSE and A-level. Um, there's a mode here, if we go in the menu, this is allowed in all uh, UK exams, GCSE, IGCSE, uh, A-level, as long as it's a calculator exam, obviously. Um, and uh, you go to A here, so you can you can get that either just by clicking the A button here or going down and uh, selecting it and pressing equals. A quadratic is a type of polynomial equation. Notice there's also a way of solving simultaneous equations here uh, that I've shown you in another video. That polynomial equation uh, of degree 2 is a quadratic. So if I do polynomial and then I select 2 for the degree, you can see it's given me a quadratic here. So I can just type in the coefficients coefficients of the numbers in front of the x squared, the x and the constant term. So it's 6x squared plus 1x minus 2. Uh, and then I click equals and it tells me the first solution is a half and the second solution is uh, minus 2 thirds. 
Uh, perhaps technically I should say these are two roots that together form the solution, but GCSE exam papers are a bit uh, uh, relaxed on this point. Anyway, um, they're the two values, and so you see, like without knowing anything about this, I can just get the answers and then I can work back to the factorized form. And the benefit of this method as well, actually, is that if you use the calculator, you can see quickly whether it factorizes nicely, right? Most quadratics don't don't factorize nicely, right? If I change one of these numbers, you know, make this 21 instead, unless I'm unlucky here, I'm not, I'm not gonna get a nice answer here, right? And I can see that, oh, well, it's not, it's not one that factorizes, right? So, um, okay, so, uh, so let's do that for these two that I've put here, right? So I'm just going to go into uh, the calculator mode here. I'm going to change coefficients 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 and press equals. So I'm filling the last line of my working first here, which is the solution uh, x equals minus 1. Press equals again to get the second solution or x equals minus 3 over 2. And then I just work back to find the factors, right? So if x is minus 1, that means that x plus 1 is 0. If x is minus 3 over 2, that means 2x is minus 3, or 2x plus 3 equals 0. So there we go, there are my two factors. This quadratic factorizes as x plus 1 times 2x plus 3 equals 0. And if you look at what I've written out now, magically, it's exactly the working that you would have if you did it the other way, right? So the method that you might be taught in school is to say, try and find numbers that multiply together to give 2, then numbers that multiply together to give 3, play around with different ways of of putting it in the answer here and until you until you find one that multiplies out correctly but here you know I mean this is perfectly good working no exam board no teacher could ever dock you any marks for this method because the method is trial and error and if you get the factorization correct that is the right working and the beauty of this is right that part a here would be a, a relatively easy example of this question because two and three are prime numbers, so there aren't actually many different options for the multiple choice method. But this one here, 12x squared plus 14x minus 10, would be relatively difficult because there are lots of different numbers that multiply together to give tw 12 and the multiply together to give minus 10. But with this method, all I've got to do is say, uh, type in 12x squared, 14x minus 10, um, get, my two, uh, get my two answers here. So uh, x equals one half, uh, or x equals minus five thirds, right? And then, uh, and then just work back to the working. Okay, so uh, two x equals uh, two x equals one here. So that gives me two x minus one is zero. For this one, I get three x equals minus five, or three x plus five equals zero. And there we go. There are my two factors: two x minus one times three x plus five. Now I've deliberately put in a question here where something slightly different has happened, right? And I think, you know, this is basically correct working for this question. But do notice, as I said a second ago, that you can get this case where you get, uh, you know, where, okay, if, the, if these are the answers, you know, you could put a five times in front of it or something and it would still work, right? Because if you multiply this out, okay, you notice actually if I multiply out 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 5 equals 0, I get 6x squared. I get 6x squared. Uh, minus 3x plus 10x minus 5. So I actually get 6x squared plus 7x minus 5 here, not 12x squared plus 14x minus 10 equals 0. Um, but you notice this is exactly double, uh, so the, the, the um, quadratic in the question is exactly double this, right? If I do 2 times all of this, I get 12x squared plus 14x minus 10, right? So actually, um, this implication is still true, right? Um, but the factorized form is two times this equals zero. Uh, so perhaps like the fullest working here, you'd factorize it totally and do two times two x minus one times three x plus five. Um, but you can now divide, but you can, but you can divide both sides of this equation by two and get two x minus one times three x plus five equals zero as well. So actually the implication still works perfectly fine. So if you actually just want to factorize the quadratic rather than solving the equation, you need to be careful that you, uh, that, that you check whether there's a, a multiple outside of the brackets before you come to the conclusion. But if the aim is just to solve it by factorizing, you don't have to worry about that quite so much. So there we go. I hope that was useful. And um, this is a topic that is, uh, you know, very hard to teach. And students really, in my experience, uh, don't like this topic at all because the usual methods involve so much uh, trial and error. And there really is no, although there are lots of different methods that people use to solve 
these questions and to teach this topic, um, all of them at some point come down to trial and error, whether it's finding two numbers that multiply together to give something and add together to give something else, or whether it's just playing around with factors and things. There's always trial and error. But if we do have the calculator, we can get the solution and we can kind of uh, eliminate the, the trial and error from the process here. Um, so it's important to understand what's going on and why all of this works. But once you've done that and you, and you get that, why not use the calculator? Okay. So um, if you're not clear on this factor, if you're not clear on why this method works, I would pop back to my previous video on this topic um, just uh, that I put out recently before this one uh, and, uh, and, and look at that as well because I think that will clear up any issues here. So I hope that was useful. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Head over to the Maths Source website where there are videos on every topic at GCSE and IGCSE uh, Maths and loads of uh, exam questions organised by topic with video solutions that you can go through. Um, feel free to buy the calculator from my Amazon store below if you haven't got it already and uh, I will see you in the next video.